let's take a look at how to calibrate individual brushes in Corel Painter. If I press Ctrl B on my keyboard, that will open the General Brush Controls palette drawer. This panel presents me with some of the general controls I can apply to my brushes. I will make sure that brush calibration is open by double clicking on it. Next, I will enable brush calibration to activate it for the currently selected brush. There are sliders that can be set manually, or we can click on the bottom right button to open the brush calibration settings. The brush tracking dialog appears, which displays a scratch pad on the left where we can draw, and a pressure graph on the right. The pressure curve is automatically generated based on the pen input. So what you want to do is draw a brush stroke on the left using your ideal amount of pressure. Press as hard as you normally press, then press as light as you would normally press. The values on the graph are adjusted in response to the brush strokes you create on the test pad. The velocity or speed of your strokes can also be detected and used to optimize the pressure curve. So make some fast and slow strokes as well using heavy to light pressure. Once you have generated a custom curve for that brush, you'll need to make sure that apply to current brush variant is checked so that it applies to that specific brush. If you leave this unchecked, then Painter will apply the calibration globally to all brushes. After clicking on OK, test your pen pressure response on the canvas, and hopefully your brush will be working much better. With this calibration setting, I'm able to get a much smoother transition between opacity levels. Of course, you don't need to calibrate every single brush in Corel Painter, but you may find that some brushes work better once they are calibrated. Those are usually brushes that utilize pen pressure to vary the brush size, opacity, grain, or other settings. So if you're inking with a brush like the scratch board, then properly calibrated pen pressure is very important. I'll switch to the charcoal category, and I will select soft vine. If I draw a very light stroke, you can see that a lot of paper grain shows through. It's as if I was drawing on a sidewalk very lightly with a piece of chalk. If I press harder, the chalk will cover more of the grain until it eventually disappears. Brushes like this that use paper grain can also benefit from brush calibration. I'll calibrate this brush using mostly firm pressure that tapers off a bit. And then when I draw with this brush, it's going to feel easier to control how much grain I show. Basically, if pen pressure for a particular brush feels difficult to control, then you may want to calibrate it. Otherwise, the default calibration settings work well for most brushes. Keep in mind that if you also calibrated your pen pressure in the Wacom Tablet properties, it's going to magnify any calibration you were doing in Corel Painter.